Welcome to what is, I guess, the third episode of Let's Watch an Old Toho Replay. Uh, I realized I don't have any uploads of Ten Desires Extra Stage, so uh, I went to go check my replay folder, and I apparently lost my replay folder at some point. Uh, fortunately, I had uploaded a bunch of my replays to Gensokia.org back in the day. This was uh, from 2012. It's obviously 2023 now. Uh, and so I was able to collect these replays back from uh, Maribel Harn's uh, art. Yeah, Maribel Harn's Gensokyo Archive. Uh, so, according to the replay data, this is a no bomb, no manual trance run of Ten Desires Extra. Uh, I have not watched this replay yet, so if that is actually what this is, I do not know. But I suspect it is. Uh, the thing about Ten Desires is that it is so punishing with the resource system that you barely get anything. Like I think you can get at most four deaths for the entire stage, and that's not a lot of mistakes. Uh, fortunately, the stage portion is not too bad with a little practice, I remember, and with a little practice as well, nothing Nui has is particularly threatening. Mamazo's non-spells are also some of the least threatening in the series. Uh, unfortunately, once you hit her 8th spell card, and even before that, 7th uh, can be pretty hard too, uh, Mamazo can absolutely kick your butt. So, it's all about just trying to be consistent and make as few stupid, unforced errors as possible. Uh, as far as extra stages go, I actually like this stage quite a bit. Uh, Mamazo's theme is easily one of my favorites as well, uh, as far as extra bosses go. Uh, obviously going with Reimu here because, I don't know, Reimu's just the easiest shot type in this game. Yomu is objectively better, and Marisa has more damage, and Sane just kind of gets shafted. But Reimu has a good balance of focused damage when you need it, and raw damage, or sorry, and like stage presence when you don't. Uh, homing is just so good in most games. Yeah, you can you can tell I I grinded this because I'm getting kills on things as they spawn. Uh, per, uh, oh, stage isn't over yet. Go for a little center dodging. Uh, one life wisp despawned, one fairy carrying, one did not die. So for this run, assuming I don't end up with death trances duplicating items, which I think. These days, I would say that's not fair game, but back then, I think I would have said it's fine. I'm not manually using France. Uh, we'll see if I have three lives to work with for this stage or four. Ooh. What was that decision? I mean, I guess I was trying to go for a little extra damage, but that was so, so stupidly risky and unnecessarily so. Yeah, non-spells are a breeze. Each wave is easy and the uh, gap between waves is huge. Modern extra stages just keep, just keep the pressure on. Wow, going above Mama is also a little risky there. Did I realize I was playing risky? Oh my gosh, that... I waited so long for that stream turn. Was I trying to get away with only having to do one? I could have been rammed there! Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? I did not deserve that capture, but I got it, so I mean, I guess that's what counts.
Ooh. Unfortunately, uh, Avian Danamaku transformation is one of the easier patterns. Quite sad to get hit there. I guess the power loss in 10 Desires is also harsh, but you have so few lives it doesn't really come into play. Wow, that frog pattern has been upstaged so many times since. Uh, I guess this non-spell is probably one of the few that actually has a little edge to it. You do have to be a little careful, but it still dies in two waves. In two waves is not a lot. So bullets from the sides of the screen, always a little scary. But this one, you, you have enough control over where things go with the greens that the rest of the pattern, uh, you can be quite aggressive dealing with it. And just go wherever it's safest. Uh, and I do exactly that. Yeah, this, this uh, non-spell overlap is pretty cool. The fact that it's just two spirals. I always like patterns that overlay multiple like that. Alright, so this one's pretty easy. You just have to know what to do. This is definitely one of those patterns that gets out of hand if you don't know what to do. But with the right root, it just dies. Yeah, okay. <laughs> One more cycle. No, two more cycles. That's why you don't get greedy and go for a quick kill. You actually wait until the pattern dies. Uh, Alright, actually threatening non-spell here. Wild Deserted Island. One of 11. Is this the one? This is probably the one, right? Given that this is the run that ascent, like I, I know it clears. Is this the run? Ooh, well played, well played. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, and at this point, unless I death trance coming out of uh, pseudo exorcism of the stupid shrine maiden. Uh, I only have those two more mistakes. And that is not a lot. And a zero of seven is not encouraging. This pattern is difficult even with a root, I remember. Uh, good call going for the large stream turn there. Not staying under Mamazo very well. Oh, okay. We're fine. What ha what goes wrong? This this is going so well. Oh, is it a bot stream turn? No, it is a capture. What? All right, something's wrong with my score dat then. Huh. <laughs> well, that's one way to anti spoiler, I guess. <laughs> I'll have to look into what's up with my score dot. Oh, yeah. So, nothing you can really do about the trance keeping you alive longer here. It does end up misdirecting two waves. Yeah, this survival is actually very difficult. I take another death, and now there's nothing left. I know this is an EX all. The replay set, like the replay data gives as much. So this means that I must then, yeah, clutch the some crazy dodges in the final phase here.
and get into a groove, spot where the gaps are going to be. Whew. And then it's just the final. Which again, if this is a no bomb, no trance run, this is obviously going to be a capture. I remember this, thinking this card was pretty easy for a final. It's just a little bit of misdirection and go through crisscross. Like we've seen, we've seen crisscrossing before. Like that was literally all Suiko did as her final. I guess like Suiko, the uh, difficulty is very concentrated in like the seventh spell and beyond. Ooh. Definitely abusing Reimu's homing here. Only two power means this pattern takes a long time. Yeah, being really conservative and just moving to the corners whenever possible. Just because the corners are an easier place to dodge. Nearly get sniped, have to do a center crisscross, and it clears. Cannot complain about that. Uh, I remember this took me quite a few attempts to get. I'm very happy with it at the end of the day. Uh, it's also good to remember that I actually did accomplish this, and I didn't just make it up. Uh, until next time, which next time is going to be the rest of the extras, and I've already recorded them. Nice. <laughs>